Hello, hello, hello. Good day to everyone. Welcome back to the pedagogy section of my YouTube channel. This video is about activity three of module six. But before I keep going, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the eight by eight logo on the right corner of your frame. And also, please give some LCS on my videos. Like, comment, and share. Thank you so much. Activity three of module six is calculating the adjacent side. Let us look at the diagram here that we used in activity two. Again, we have two trees. One is taller than the other. We have an apple on the ground. The reference angles are on the ground, 41 degrees and 31 degrees. In activity two, we solve for the opposite side and we use the smaller triangle with the shorter tree. But in the next activity, which is solving for the adjacent side, we are going to use the, the larger triangle with the taller tree and the reference angle of 41 degrees on the ground with the apple okay so the question here is what is the distance between the apple and the base of the taller tree because we are solving for the adjacent side here remember that the height of the tree represents the opposite sides since the reference angle is on the ground therefore the side beside the reference angle 41 degrees is your adjacent side and that is the distance between the apple and the base of the taller tree so what are the given information here of course we have the reference angle theta 41 degrees the adjacent side is unknown and this time around the opposite side is given at nine meters so back to the question what appropriate function are we going to use here so remember um, the easiest way or the simplest way to do it is when we put the unknown side on top of the fraction okay or of the ratio so we put the adjacent side on top and then put the opposite side at the bottom and that function should be cotangent theta okay so the function that we are using here is cotangent theta, which is equal to the adjacent side over the opposite side. Then we substitute the values. We have cotangent theta is cotangent 41 degrees equals A. I'm using small letter A here to represent the variable of the adjacent side. And then the opposite side is given at nine meters. Then we do the math. So by cross multiplication, it's nine cotangent 41 equals eight. That should be the next line here. Next, using the decimals calculator, which I linked in your module, we are going to identify or determine, I mean, the value of cotangent 41 degrees. So how do you put it on the calculator? right if you have noticed on the decimal scientific calculator there is no cotangent function but because we know that a cotangent function is the inverse of tangent function so we're going to use the tangent here but when you type it on the calculator so you would type as one divided by tangent 41 degrees okay again it's 1 divided by tangent 41 degrees that is um, putting in the inverse of cotangent function 41 degrees all right and the cut cal the calculator give us gives us the value of 1.15036840 seven so let me use two decimal places again so this would look like nine 
parenthesis 1.15 equals a okay and then finally when we multiply 9 by 1.15 approximately the distance between the apple and the base of the taller tree is 10.4 meters which represents the adjacent side of the bigger right triangle in the diagram all right there you go guys you can start working on activity three of module six but before i say goodbye please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel eight by eight lgvi click on the eight by eight logo on the right corner of your frame okay so thank you so much and bye for now